Welcome to Driveway Garage. I uh, am working on my Mercedes Benz ML320 that I just bought a couple days ago. I'm trying to take care of some maintenance things that I figure probably haven't been taken care of. It's been sitting most of the last six years, driven very little. So I made a video on changing the oil and the cabin air filter, at least removing it. Nobody had one in town, so it's supposed to be here tomorrow. It was supposed to be here today, but you just put it in the way you take it out. It's pretty easy. And what else? Oh, the uh, blend door actuator. I made a short video on that. Right now, I just finished changing the spark plugs. And man, what a bear that was. Let me turn this around for you. So, I used a socket with an extension. And on the passenger side, I was able to use another extension. When I got the spark plugs loose, which took some doing, they're in there pretty tight. Here's the spark plugs, and you can see they all have a lot of rust on them. The gap's pretty uniform, but every one of them is rusty, so it took several turns just to get them freed up. Now, if you're brave and you want to save some time, I've got this little Chemo 3 8 drive cordless drill. It doesn't go really fast. This is full speed. But it sure saves a lot of ratcheting. So I used that once I got them finger loose. Put that on there and backed them out. And uh, what else? Uh, oh, I went down and got the spark plugs and I bought this pair of pliers. But this part that sticks out to the left right there. It's really not long enough. It needs to be about an inch long. So you can get in there and grab the boot on those spark plugs. It's metal. And it's just hard to get them off. Uh, when you do this job, allow yourself at least an hour. So one thing I did to give myself some room is I took the air box and filter out. Just connected it up here. It's just clamps. There's two clamps there. Clamp underneath the back. One here. One there. One there. One there. That pulls out of the way and it gives you a lot of room. Now, this little thing, which is due with the heat, I'm sure, the goes to the heater core, that just lifts straight up. It's just sitting there on a bracket. It's not bolted in. You can just lift it up and get it out of your way. That gives you a lot more room to get down in there. Let me grab my flashlight here. Sorry, I just finished up on the passenger side. But as you can see, there's not a lot of room. You can see the metal end sticking out there on the spark plugs. It's just hard to get down in there and grab them. I, uh, I tried using my channel locks, that wasn't working, but in the long run, I ended up using my channel locks and those pliers that I bought down at O'Reilly's. But I know Amazon or somebody's got some better ones that'll get you in there further. Now. That side's pretty easy. You take the air box off and that valve I showed you. This side, you see how much room you don't have there? You got a firewall on the side. That little shiny aluminum metal. And you just can't get in there and get the spark plug wires out. At least I couldn't. And I made another video. I was going to give up and wait and order one of those pair of pliers so I could get some leverage. But what I ended up figuring out is... Right in the center of each one of those coils, there's three coils and there's six wires. I just unplugged them at the top there. And then it's a little, uh, shoot, what do you call those things? Not a Phillips, kind of a star. Let's see if there's a number on there I can give you. It's a 27 or an S2. Anyway, you use that to take the bolt out of the center of the coils and then they just come off so what I did is I just went through here and did one spark plug at a time and after you get the coils off it gives you so much room you can come at it from the top and you can get some pliers in there I use the channel locks and I use the uh, oh what am I saying the other special pliers now when you're going to put this in there, you don't have a lot of room, as you can see. So the best thing is, 
take the extension and you probably don't even need this little one but it kind of helped get it out a little further slide this on top of your spark plug and then put your ratchet on there because you just don't have room to get this on top of the spark plug with the ratchet attached it hits this firewall heat shield here and it won't let you go in so save yourself a lot of time putting them in taking them out detach your socket now when I got the same thing on this side when I got these loose and when I got them started in so that I knew they weren't going to strip out I broke out this thing and ran them all the way in now with this uh, washer on here I noticed that just because it seems like they're tight they go down and they stop like with that little chemo ratchet you need to go about another half a turn and you can really feel them seating down I think if you don't do that you have a chance of maybe them coming loose or getting some exhaust gas beside there but that really seals them down but of course you don't want to over tighten them and break a spark plug off that would not be cool um, the end spark plug in the back there I ended up using these pliers because I could get in there but most of the others I could not get those in there and get leverage so I was able to get the channel locks in there I tried a 17 inch open end wrench it fits over the it kind of fits over the end of the spark plug thing like that but only on the end and there's a little bump out here so it stops it but you couldn't you couldn't get enough pressure at the right angle to pop the cap off and I was afraid because I was resting it on here and trying to lever the, it off but it's putting too much pressure down and I was afraid I was going to break a spark plug off so I quit trying that but the pliers once you get the coils off it's a real lifesaver and let's see what else if a guy wanted to while he was in here he could go ahead and put new coil wires on I was trying to just take the coil wires off but they didn't want to part ways with the coils so I just said forget it I'm just going to leave them on there uh the spark plugs are already gapped they're kind of like this except they have a finer point on them it's more of a point than that little flat electrode i don't know if it's right or wrong i got nkg platinum hope i don't live to regret that they were about five dollars a piece so for 12 spark plugs because you know if you own one of these you got 12 spark plugs even though it's a six cylinder or you could have got the iridium ones and they're like almost nine dollars a piece so you're talking a hundred dollars for spark plugs but i'm planning on selling this not keeping it for 10 more years uh so i think the way they make spark plugs nowadays uh, see something out of its place these spark plugs last a hundred thousand or more miles nowadays so uh, I don't think these will have to be changed again in the life of this. Who knows? It's got 108,000 miles on it. It's in pretty good shape. I did change the oil. The transmission fluid was already flushed. I put one can of Freon in, got the air conditioner to work. Made a little video on that. I wouldn't mind keeping it, but I've got a Prius I'm trying to sell. And this half-ton GMC pickup I'm trying to sell. So something's got to go. So... I put this on the market we'll see if anybody uh, bites but the tires aren't brand new but they hardly have like 8,000 miles at the most on them because they just didn't get driven much one of my next projects if I just go ahead and do it will be to take the lug nuts and they're not lug nuts they're actually studs take those off and clean them up and paint them silver so it looks a little better I may even take the brake calibers and the rotor off and paint it all black so get rid of that ugly rust but you know that's going to be a few hours of work so i don't know if i'll do it or not see depends on how quick somebody buys it anyway sorry for rambling hope this guys i hope this helps you guys if you're changing your spark plugs trust me unless you are better you know you have better luck than i did take those coils off it'll save you a lot of fighting and a lot of knuckle bashing and scraping your arms, everything else. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. 
let your friends that have Mercedes know. Uh, I'm going to try to make more videos as I do more stuff. I also made one on changing the windshield wipers because two out of the three of those were shot. Thanks again. Have a great day.